to what happened the next board of oh there you go watch out we got it dude i thought it was gonna be thrown into us what are you doing dude no all right here we go get the camera go all right Oh, God. Yes, get the camera. Chase is on. This is going to be something right We're here. We're on eighth. We'll call 911. He's on fire. Gotta hurry. Uh, we are on eight. And uh, I'm just passing college, eighth and college, and there's there was a, a wreck, an accident on in town. These two guys ran into each other, and then they both took off. They, they both left their vehicle. No, they both left it chasing each other. Okay, which way are they going? The I am on Eighth Avenue. I'm passing Callaway. They turn I have right. Lost. They turn right. Do you think they turned yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, they turned on Callaway. You sure they turned yes, on Callaway? Yes, I got it on film. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. He said they turned on Callaway. I actually have the wreck on camera. So I just want to make you aware that these people are driving like maniacs through here. I don't know where they're at now. We've lost sight of them. It's smoking, though. Their car is smoking. Yeah, one of them, a, a white uh, Chevrolet Suburban is what I would think it is. Is got smoke pouring out of it. And what's the other vehicle? Was it a Jeep? Mm. I think it was a Jeep Cherokee. Yeah, something like that. Well, I have it on film. So. I do not see them at all. We've lost sight of them. It's in this area that we go. But they hit at a stoplight right in the middle of an intersection with cars everywhere and then and then drove off. You know, one of them drove off and the other one chased him. But I'm sorry, I have lost sight of them. I tried to call as that's, quick as I could. That's okay. Thank you for calling. We've got them coming out there, okay? Okay. Thank you. I say go straight. I was trying to talk to her, so yeah, I couldn't. Car, that lady. I couldn't focus. It's gonna be dirt on these, one of these roads. They're gonna be fighting. Yeah, I think they're gonna shoot. Yeah. Wow. That was exciting. I would say is, I'd say go down that way. No, I think they would come back through here. We're back. Yep. Back to the intersection. Back where is we're this at. the truck? Back where we're right at. over here. Is this the guy? That's the guy. Yep. That's the yep, guy. Yep. That's right him there. right there. Yep. And that's yep. the other truck right there. Right there. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll tell him. Uh, yep. That's him right there. We know where it's at. Did you call 911, buddy? Okay. We have it on camera. Oh, we I got sure it all on camera. Yeah. Let me give you my phone number. Okay. And, uh, or you tell me your phone number. Okay, hold on just one second. You okay? I've called the police. Are you okay? Yes, sir. I'm okay. Okay. I don't feel anything right now because I was trying to hurry. Well, you need, we need to make sure he don't have, uh... Yeah, or gun or whatever. He, that's why I'm so far back. 1662. 260. 260. I mean, 260-322-8146. Ho, ho, okay. 662 322 8146 Okay, I'm texting you right now. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to call you right now. Yeah, we've called the cops. I'm on the phone with I'm Okay. The phone with All right. right now. Okay, good. Because I was on the phone with them, too. Because you can't be doing that crap, man. Yeah, it's all it's it's at the corner of Maine. It's right across from the old city hall, right on the corner. I told them exactly where I'm the house is the is the old Verona Motel. The house is the old Verona Motel. Right on the corner. Yes, sir. Hey, I texted you. Yes, sir. They just turned left, so. Yeah. All right. Roll, roll. Yeah, I wish you'd have rolled while we were talking to him. So this is the guy that got hit. It's actually a Volkswagen. And that's the truck that hit him, that white truck right there. Not that one, this one. Man, that this white one. truck right there. You yeah. see the damage on it on the front? And we just saw him get out and walk and go in that house. Wow. There he is getting out of his car now. He saw us filming him. Mm-hmm. All right, no, film him. Afraid he has a gun. Yeah, I got a gun. Because you know he went in the car and got something. Mm -hmm. You stay filming, and I'm going to... Um, pull this SD card right here. You didn't expect to see this this morning. Uh -uh. I can't believe he'd leave like that. I know. What happened? Why did he do that? Because he probably don't have insurance or whatever. He went into that, that you know, it's kind of sketchy. Yep. I just don't want him to be shooting at anybody. He ain't gonna shoot nobody. So what's taking those cops? They went there. They there he is right there. Did you catch that? Oh yeah. That dude's about to get it. Yep.
This should be interesting. Mm-hmm. My Verona. Right here in Verona, Mississippi, across from where Gladys and Vernon, yeah. <laughs> Vernon was married. I mean, it's crazy. Here in Mississippi, we're having an eventful Sunday morning. Indeed we are. I'm just glad the guy's okay. Yeah, me too. He's going over there, I guess, to look at the car. Yeah, yeah he's going to be able to see damage on the car. He's not coming to the door. Well, they don't seem like fine, upstanding citizens. <clears throat> I'm looking out back, making sure nobody runs. Some backup coming now. Mm hmm. The sheriff just kept going. Call in the cavalry. I expect this guy to run. She's gonna go get him. Guys, we are about to have some action out front here. Unfortunately, these kids have to see all this. This, friends, is what you do not do if you have a wreck. You don't want to get yourself in this kind of situation. That is true. And they've sent the kids outside to throw a football? Yeah, That's... they were throwing a football earlier. <clears throat> That's here the dude he right is. there. When we were over there filming earlier, they were throwing the football.
This laptop here is new, er, I bought it used, and it has been a piece of crap. So it's a used yeah, piece of crap. Yeah, and new I've had problems with it ever since I've had it. Um, I can't get it to, um, I can't get it to upload. I mean, he has to arrest him, don't he? Well, I think, if I can show him the video, I think he should. But, I mean, that boy didn't think nothing of running, did he? Oh, no. He was like, well, whatever. And he acted like he was mad. Well, that's the world today. Yeah. You do you do the crime, you're mad. Yeah. Well, if this dude gets, a truck, gets away with this, which I don't, you know, the cop's ordering him back inside, so. Ordering one of the other people yeah. back inside. Yes. See, everybody and their cousin's gonna show up over here. Now he's going to his shed. I think they're searching the truck. Which they should be. I'm sure there's dope in there. Well, if I can get this clip on the internet. I will feel a lot better. That always scares me. Hey, you want to talk about scared? Try 13 64 gig SD cards completely full coming back from Europe. With nothing. Scared to death I was going to lose Losing my footage. My... Yeah. Well, where did you put them at? In a, your backpack or yeah, something? No, I kept them in my backpack. Yeah, but then somebody could have taken my backpack. Yeah. There's times when I kept them in my pocket in the plastic bag. We're almost there. I just hope this is the right thumbnail. I'm sure it is. See, so I'm searching his truck. Tell you in a minute. So anyway, we're at a at a red light. Wait a second, Ryan. They're arresting the guys. So wait. Just give me one second, Ryan. So we're at a red light, and you know, we're in Billy's um, Jeep, so uh, we got cameras everywhere on the dashboard and everything where we film. Well, a dude runs a red light and crashes into a guy chain turning left, right? Right in front of us. It happens right in front of us. So guess what the dude that crashed into him did? He ran in his car. So the dude that got hit chased him and Billy and I chased him. And we filmed it all. And the dude comes back to his house over here and runs inside. So we've staked out the house, the walls over here, and they just arrested him. <laughs> he, they just put the kid, he's, a, he's like, he, he looks like he's probably like 20 years old. And he was just, a, he was crying, telling the cop he was scared. Dumbass. Yeah, and, but anyway, we got him on film. We, like Billy has it on film of the crash. So like, we're over here filming this, man, it's crazy. But they just, I literally, when I just started talking to you, they finally, it's been like 40 minutes and they just put him in handcuffs.
We had a little intrigue, a little chase, a little, little arrest, a little this, a little of that. What you got? <laughs> what you think, Spy Guy? Hey, the adventures of the Spy Guy. Yeah, but... It's a real thing. What does this all sum up to? Tighten up, get you some insurance. So and when you have a wreck, you, you stop and yeah, do what you're if, supposed to do. If you don't do. stop at your wreck and then you go on a chase and you have... Yeah. Then you're locked up car. behind... You know, if he'd have just stopped, he'd have probably got a ticket. But now he's in the back of the car with cuffs. He's taking a, uh, a trip to the old Stony Lonesome, the Gray, gray Bar Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe he's heading down to where old Vernon spent a little time. Yeah, this well, I, I doubt he'll go to Parchman for this, but... You never know. We couldn't even get there from here. We tried. <laughs> but he definitely needs to tighten up. He needs to tighten up for sure, no doubt. So the policeman told him if he'd have been more truthful with him, they could have worked something out. Is that not what he said? That's what he said. Yeah. Okay. But he wasn't truthful with him. He was lying right from the beginning. So friends, as always, what is that thing we learn as a little kid? Oh, what a web we weave. Once we practice to deceive, and if you tighten up and tell the truth, then you can go to the store and probably get a baby Ruth. And with that, friends, we're going to end this video. That, and they're getting ready to put the truck on a wrecker and haul it off. We'll end with that. In fast forward, I'll bet it with a little bit of uh, rock and roll music for the kitties. But Spy Guy has to buy me a baby roof now. Today. Yeah, now we got to have a baby roof. Yeah. We hadn't had lunch, and we're still sitting here. We're still so. sitting. We try to do more videos for you guys. That's but right. We got a little, 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 little like, side excitement track. here in the last two yeah. hours. But hey, I think it's going to make a good video. And guys, the best part is right over Spy Guy's left, right shoulder is where. Vernon and Elvis, Vernon, uh, Vernon and, and Gladys, Gladys got married, right here. Was married at. Boom, right there. So that's where the story of Elvis really starts, right there, friends. Yeah, it sure does.